Imagine a world, if you will, where the dynamic island isn't just a useless gimmick there to distract us from the fact that it's kind of still a notch, but just applier. Oh boy, we have a juicy little leak from over in the Mac Rumors forums. And also Twitter, technically, that gives us a whole rundown of improvements coming with iOS 17. <laughs> Oh wow, remember? Remember when we thought that iOS 17 was just going to be some sort of like refinement, bug fix, update? No major features or anything like that. We're just going to fix a couple things. It was in the news. We made an episode about it. But who cares about all that? Just put this on the list with the rest of the leaks from this year that we were saying for months and uh, but aren't a thing actually at all literally the last episode of this show was about how for months we heard that the iphone 15 pro was getting capacitive buttons but now not anymore that was a lie why do i even do this show why the leaker anonymous person gave us a whole list of what they know about the upcoming features in ios 17 Ahem, here they be. Control Center has big changes. <laughs> this is not, I'm not making this, this is exactly what they said. I'm just reading it as they gave it. Dynamic Island does way more, more always on display settings. A few more focus mode filters, car key and wallet app implementations, active widgets, <laughs> active widgets in testing, uh, camera app changes, notifications changes, options, custom accessibility settings, health app favorites, gets new layout, heavily improved search, a metric ton of AR kit APIs and frameworks. Wow, thank you for... All of those details. I learned a lot. Okay, so yeah, that was a lot of stuff. This is like an entire patch notes, but done in a forum post on Mac rumors. So, okay. I guess so much for that idea of iOS 17 being a small incremental update. This is a pretty dang old big list of changes, I do say so. Do it in your best southern accent, but obviously it's gonna be ba Oh, I'm not supposed to say that part. Of course, just like everything else we're talking about and will talk about, uh, this is all coming into your eyes. Uh, at WWDC on June 5th. Juno 5 for the, uh, multicultural. My biggest issue with all of this stuff is what if it's all buggy and bad? Do we just have to, like, wait even longer for it to not suck? Hmm, Tim? What do you have to say for yourself, young man? Ah, well, who the f cares, John? You idiots already bought the phone. You're stuck with it now. Ha 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 ha! I am rich and old and be sure to watch Ted Lasso, bitch. Ha ha ha! Oh, wow! How cool is that? We were able to get an actual recorded message from Tim Cook himself that definitely was not AI! Anyway, this rumor is probably full of correctness because, like, half of this stuff is already corrob cor corroborated. <laughs> that words are hard. But also... Why lie? What would the benefits of lying about this be, little man? Also, this same source was correct about some details regarding Dynamic Island in the past when that was becoming a thing, so, like, there's that. Wow, I am I am really excited for WWDC. Can you tell by the look on my face? I definitely won't be watching it with a tub of ice cream sitting right next to me to eat my feelings when they inevitably don't announce anything that I wanted at all. Oh, look at you. Mr. Professional, are you trying to centralize all of your networks? Pulseway is an all-in-one IT monitoring and management platform that lets you control your systems completely from anywhere. Get comprehensive network monitoring, reliable remote control access, customizable patch management policies, and ease of mind with IT automation workflows to give you the power to auto-resolve IT issues. With their super powerful native mobile app, you can be protected from... Well, anywhere. They're even offering FPT subscribers special savings. So don't wait and get your networks under control. Just follow the link in the description to access these savings. Okay, uh, last of the day, story numero lasto, and this one's kind of close. Kind of close to my journ heart. Uh, it's going to be kind of tough to get through. This is a very emotional topic for us here at, at Front Page Tech, at FPT, at Fuppet. I'm sorry. At Fuppet, uh... Oh man, getting choked up a little. You see, this iPhone SE 4 project and eventual render release was something that we worked on very hard and very diligently to show off to you, the peoples. And then 
Uh, it was canceled, just like my childhood when my dad left to go get cigarettes and milk. Then, miraculously, two months ago, Kuomin G told us that the development was restarted, and this thing was actually gonna happen. Now, we get even more information from everyone's favorite analyst named Jeff. Jeff Poo. Turns out the iPhone SE 4 is slated to enter our loving embrace in 2025 with a new fancy custom designed 5G, 5G modem. Oh, how fun. As far as we know, this iPhone SE 4 is still going to be the same iPhone XR design with all of the updated goodies inside, like that snazzy custom 5G modem. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, here comes a cheap ass phone to save the day. Look in the sky. This is that Superman? No, silly. It's a budget smartphone. Well, budget for Apple. Wow. And we all lived happily ever after. Is what I would say if it was true. Right as we were working on this episode, no joke, Kuo Ming Chi back at it saying, oops, I uh, was wrong. That iPhone SE 4 that I saw? Yeah, I guess it's just a prototype and won't be for sale. It's not It's not what we thought it was. Listen, yeah, I don't know how long this episode is, but I am sure that you got nothing out of it. So there's that. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is not part of the script. This was not in the script because we didn't plan. The episode ended a different way. We didn't plan for this news to come and ruin it. But that seems to be what tech news is lately, huh? <laughs> Boy, how exciting. We tell you one thing for weeks, and then we're like, never mind. And it gets so bad. Like, there's something about right now with tech leaks. It's just awful. Where live in an episode, I told you one thing, and then during the recording, it got f***ed up. You know? that Sometimes that's how the cookie be crumbling. I'm just wasting more time now is what I'm doing. Just talking. Just talking. Uh, this show is bad, and you are bad for watching it.